Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing a beer by Drecker Brewing Co. This is their Tropical Crisp Slang Du Jour Sour a la Mode. Pretty cool looking can art. On the side of the can, it says malt, pale two row oats, hops, Holotol Blanc, Flora, Lactobacillus Culture, and Halseo Yeast. Gimmicks, so they're using mango, pineapple, coconut, granola, and lactose. Uh, it says contains a significant amount of fruit, so please keep cold at all times. Separation is normal. Give can a gentle roll or two before opening. So we're gonna go ahead and do that before I forget. Slang is yours. Uh, probably my favorite series by these guys. They're usually pretty good. All right, that should be good. Anything else we wanna read on here? Oh, on the bottom of the can. Canned on 5223, 6.2% ABV. Let's see if we can focus on that. That blue dot's right on the ABV there. It's kind of hard to see. Today is 81523, so about three months old. Should be still good, considering this is a sour beer, three months. Still fresh. Uh, yeah, let's just get another shot of the can art there really cool looking so this is pretty much like their their pie series without further ado let's crack it open go for the pour check out the appearance pick this up for uh, 5.59 a single can it's been a while since I've had a Drecker beer typically really enjoy them all right let's pour this up Now these are typically more like bakery, bakery flavor forward rather than super uh, sour. Lots of sediment. When I was pouring into the glass, you could see a lot of chunks. Or is a hazy orange color in appearance pretty much no clarity through the beer at all it's got a uh, khaki colored super frothy sudsy head on top holding some great retention kind of looks like your typical uh, brains by these guys they have a series called brains it looks like a brains head it's already creating a nice uh, puree lacing at the top of the glass there see that Tell that this thing's gonna have some thick consistency to it. Yeah, looks really good. Looks like your typical uh, heavily fruited sour by these guys. Let's go for the nose. It kind of has a little bit of that like cheesecake kind of sour aspect to it. This is like that, um, that orange fruited sour, uh, I had an orange, like, uh, some type of orange cheesecake fruited sour. Kind of smells like that. But this is more, I'd say more mango, pineapple, Getting a little bit of the coconut, but the mango and the pineapple are definitely more prominent. But yeah, it does kind of have that super citrusy, acidic, kind of cakey aroma. I think it was like a cream cheese. It was like an orange cream cheese beer by uh, Uzel Finch. It was by Uzel Finch. Use guys. Yeah, it was like an orange cream cheese, heavily fruited sour. Very reminiscent on the nose. It smells really good. Um, definitely smells very sweet. Good amount of acidity. Um, I know for the most part I was saying how these typically aren't as sour. This one is definitely more sour. Not 
not necessarily getting that granola, but like I said, I am kind of getting that, like, bakery crust. It smells really good. It does kind of smell like a pie. Let's uh, dive in and try it out. Cheers, guys. That's really good. Very creamy on the mouthfeel. Definitely full body. Carbonation's light. More pineapple on the palate. Mango in between. Coconut on the back end. Coconut lingers for sure. Lingering coconut. And the sweetness from the pineapple. Little bit of like a bakery like flavor on the back end. I'm guessing that's from that uh, granola. Lactose sweetness is very prominent. Not super sour. Um, definitely more acidic on the nose than it actually is on the palate, which I am actually pleased with. I do like the bakery ones, like their pie series ones, to have more sweetness, less sour. Their brains, I like when there's a little bit more sour aspect to them. Super drinkable. Considering it has that heavy mouthfeel, it's still very drinkable. Um, it's like drinking a smoothie. You want to keep drinking it. You want to keep going back in for another sip. Really good. It's got that uh, typical head that just doesn't want to go away. Look at the lacing on that. Yeah, these are really good. Uh, six point, what is it? Six point two percent ABV. Not noticeable at all on the palate. <clears throat> now I wouldn't go drinking more than one of these, but it is a nice dessert for sure. Um, I remember why I do really enjoy these. And as far as value, five fifty nine for something like this is a great deal considering nowadays everybody wants like nine ten dollars for a can of a heavily fruited sour. It's insane. Thirty something dollars for a four pack. Drecker's always stuck to that $22 range, $22 to $24 range, and I do appreciate them for their uh, affordability in their products, you know, so. Very, very good. I've had some other ones that were a little bit better in my opinion. As far as things that I kind of wish I had more of, I wish there was a little bit more of that bakery flavor. I wish they kind of threw something else in there to give it more of that pie like flavor the granola does a good job but it does seem like it's lacking compared to the other ones whereas the other ones are like you it tastes like you're drinking pie this is just uh it's got a little hint of that flavor in the background but overall it's a solid product i do enjoy it as far as a number i'm gonna go b plus 89 out of 100 Really good, totally worth the money. Definitely uh, taking the price into consideration. I recommend it. If you like, uh, it's kind of got like pina colada vibes, and then the mango adds a touch of uh, um, some more sweetness. You get more ripe tropical fruit with the mango. Uh, but yeah, if you like uh, pina coladas, or if you like beers that kind of taste like pina colada, if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure you leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.